CataractCoach.com Posterior Capsule BSS Power Wash Using BSS on a 27 gauge cannula to power wash the posterior capsule So here we go, looks like a case that's pretty routine Posterior subcapsular cataract We'll speed up through the cataract part because that's the easy part Here's a nice looking capsular rexus and get that lens out. Now the easy part here is just flip it up out of the bag and be done. Well, here's a little bit of the chop too. Hey, while he's doing this, let me tell you about cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. Plus, remember we have the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. You can learn more about this. Download the free Cataract Coach PDF book even at cataractcoach.com. Check it out. Now, here at the end of the case, Nuke is already out. Now let's take out the cortex and let's see what we get here. Now, usually when you take out the cortex, you get most of that posterior subcapsular opacity off. But you can see there's not a whole lot of cortex remaining here. And so now, look at the posterior capsule. It just looks like a lot of little tiny opacities. How do you clean that off? So our certain here, look at this. You're just going to use BSS on a cannula and inject it in power wash. Now, don't let the cannula touch the capsule. I promise you, the cannula can easily poke through the capsule. But look at this technique here. All that just got freed up. I like the idea of going through the para, a little more stable because you don't have that main incision leaking. And look at the difference there. So a BSS power wash. You can do even a little bit more of it here. Just be careful again. Don't let the cannula touch the capsule. And now once it's loosened up, I bet you could put the eye probe back in the eye and just easily get all that material here. So the question is, should we be doing a power wash on all these cases? And hey, can we do a power wash just using the IA probe? Like the infusion from it? What if we put the infusion up a little bit? Higher aspiration flow rate, so have higher infusion rate. Whoops, don't grab the capsule. Just grab that little opacity here and aspirate it. Now look, the capsule looks beautifully clean. So I think this technique, the BSS Power Wash, is very interesting. And certainly it worked pretty well. Now there's still a little spot there right in the center. Can we power wash it some more? Okay, viscoelastic wash. There you go. So use viscoelastic to separate it off. Beautifully done again. Let the viscoelastic touch the capsule. Don't let the steel cannula, the metal cannula, touch the posterior capsule because I promise it can poke through. You have to be very cautious here. So get as much of it as you can. There you go. Free it up using the viscoelastic to dissect that off the capsule. And here I'd put the lens in first, and then when you remove viscoelastic with the IA probe, then you can go in and you can remove those uh, small pieces, aspirate them out too. So that looks pretty good. A little more viscoelastic probably. There, it's out of the visual axis at least. And now, uh, oh, look at that. Using like a little Sinsky hook or something to rub it off. Again, I'd be a little cautious here, but in this surgeon's hands, it works fine. Here, I'd rather put the eye well in first and then go behind the optic with the IA probe and aspirate those two. Because then, should there be a small break, you already have the lens in position. You just got to maintain the, the anterior chamber pressure and slowly come out of the eye. So look at that, vacuuming all that off, cleanly done, very nice. Now you got to put in more viscoelastic, and now you can put the lens in. So I think that looks pretty good. And let's see, more viscoelastic, I like it. Now the bag looks very clean, so beautifully done. I like the idea here. The viscoelastic was helpful at the end there, but at the beginning, most of the lens material that was removed from the poster capsule was just with BSS. So BSS power wash, what do you think? Have you tried this? Now... Be cautious when you do try it, and I'd encourage you, if you're a younger surgeon, try it through the paracentesis first, because that'll maintain your anterior chamber pressure. If you do it through the main incision, you have to be careful not to distort that main incision, otherwise you'll lose too much fluid, and you'll get some fluidic imbalance, and you could shallow the bag, shallow the AC, the bag comes forward, you hit it with the ca cannula, and you're in a hot trouble. So <laughs> you don't want that to happen. But beautiful case here. Thank you to our guest surgeon. Very nicely done. I love it. And remember, check out our podcast. It's the top podcast in all of ophthalmology for a reason. It teaches you the success secrets that will help you in your future.